Welcome back to Bites of the Bread. This is your host, Steve Davey, and today is episode 7, John 21, 25. Before I get into the scripture, I wanted to bring something out that has really been going through my mind. Um, that's, how big is Jesus? We we have four Gospels in, in the Word. Four of them. They're all a little different. You got Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Now, if you know anything about the Gospels, Luke was a doctor, not one of the original disciples. Really long book, so long, L, Luke, L. He also wrote uh, Acts. So when I read Acts, I think Luke part two. Mark is the oldest of all of them, but also the shortest book. He also wasn't one of the 12 disciples. Then you have Matthew. Matthew goes in great detail and starts the earliest. He does all the, the family line, the history, all the way through crucifixion, resurrection. And then there's John. John, for me, is the most relatable book. Because John... He recognized who Jesus was, and he understood how Jesus saw him. So, in all four of these books, why does one person in the Bible, yes, he's the son of God, why do they need four books on him? Just one one person. Like, couldn't they get in two? Maybe could they get in one? So, this, this scripture really talks about how vast and how much he did because you can think about it It'd take me forever to name all the miracles and all the things that jesus spoke and um the different perspectives in here but let's get into the scripture real quick and then we'll discuss a little more so it says and there were also many other things which jesus did which if they were written in detail I suppose that even the world itself would not contain the books that would be written that's insane to me yes it's a little poetic but he's saying Jesus was so active so miraculous that it didn't matter to write everything down that he did John wanted to be part of it. He wanted to be selective when he wrote. And the things that really stood out to him and the things that really mattered, he wrote down. Jesus referred to him in his own book as the disciple that Jesus loved. To me, I go, Jesus, I want to be that disciple, the one that you love. And now, did Jesus love all of his disciples? Absolutely. Did he love you and, or does he love you and me the same way that he loves John? Absolutely. Sometimes though, when we sit in his presence, we don't recognize how much he actually loves us. That every little thing that's in this book It's long. Every bite that's in here. It was written to us. This is a 66 book love letter to us. And John's saying, if I wrote down everything that Jesus did, every moment that I spent with him, there's not enough paper in the world. There's not enough ink in the world to write it all down. So he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on the key things. I'm gonna write down my story. I'm gonna write down how I related to Jesus. And then we're gonna move from there. Because I wanna not be out of the moment. I don't wanna, like it's great. Luke wrote, he's a doctor, he wrote down so much. And then he wrote another book. It was amazing. 
Luke wasn't walking every single day with Jesus in his inner circle. Even in the garden, John was selected to come with him. Even at the cross, John was selected to take care of Jesus' mother. John understood the importance of being close to Jesus' side. John understood the the miracle that was walking with him, that he was able to walk and talk and hug and give high fives, but she did some knuckles, joke with, laugh with Jesus in physical form. Something that we'll get to do in heaven, but something that even some of the disciples maybe overlooked. So my prayer for you guys today is that you won't overlook being in the presence of God. That you'll be able to be aware that when his presence is there, yeah, taking notes is cool. But sometimes we put that notepad down and just enjoy that moment. Today we have a culture that is recorded. Write it down, tweet it, hit it up on Facebook, make an Instagram post. And some of my favorite memories are ones that I never had a phone for, I never had a camera with, that I didn't write it down. So, when you're with Jesus, when you spend time in his word, primarily focus on spending time with him. And that's our bite for the day. And I'm gonna, I, want, I want to read that again, just to reiterate, reiterate that. And there are so many other things which Jesus did, which if they were written in detail, I suppose that even the world itself would not contain the books that would be written. Jesus is bigger than this Bible. He wants to talk to you. He wants to walk with you. There's nothing that he doesn't understand about you. He made you. So, this has been Bites of the Bread, Episode 7. If you would like to be here in the show, want to talk about a verse that really sticks out to you, let me know. We'll get you on the show, and it will be an awesome time. So, until then, remember, big differences can come in bite sizes. Take care. God bless.